All right, this video kind of goes along with my multiplying decimals by decimals video, but uh, it can be used for a lot of things. It's a how to make a multiplication t-chart. In sixth grade, I would really love it if all of my sixth grade students came to me knowing all of their multiplication facts, but they don't. So they need a strategy for um, how to get them when they need them. Okay, so for example, if uh, they are doing some multiplication of decimals by decimals, like today, we did some multiplication like this, where we had uh, a couple of decimal numbers we were multiplying. And I have students that still uh, aren't sure of their facts, and they've got to uh, they've got to learn them, and if they don't have them down, they've got to have a strategy to be able to do this type of multiplication. So you can see if a student is struggling with 6 times 7, it's going to be very difficult for them to complete a problem like this. So what uh, I talk to them about is making a multiplication t-chart. They could use a piece of grid paper to do a giant multiplication chart, but that, that really is a time waste because they already know their ones, multiplication tables, they know their twos, they probably know their threes, their fours, and probably their fives. It's the six, sevens, eights, and nines that hurt them, and then even the larger numbers they are going to need work with. So I tell them to only make the chart for the ones they need. So in this instance, we're going to pretend uh, that uh, the student does not know their six times tables. So they need a strategy for that. Before they can do this, they need a strategy. So they're going to make a multiplication t-chart. They can do this on grid paper, notebook paper, whatever they need to do. They're going to make a t-chart. They're going to put the number that they are working on, which is their sixes, over here. And they're going to model that number with some points or dots over here. So. I'm doing six, so I have six dots. If I was making one for my nines, I would have nine dots, and so on and so on. Then they're going to list uh, the multiplication facts that would come. So we'll put a one here to represent six times one, six times two, six times three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to stop at nine for this example. So this last one would be six times nine. They could continue on if they needed to know uh, some other ones. They should be able to, to start the beginning of the list. Obviously, 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. They usually know 6 times 4, and they usually know 6 times 5 because it's a part of the 5's fact family. Um, most of them know 6 times 6 is 36 because it has a bit of a rhyme to it when you say it. But 6 times 7, 8, and 9 are generally where we start having problems. So here's a strategy for them to be able to do that. They start with what they do know. They know that 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 times 7 is going to be 36, so they hold on to 36, and then they count the dots to get the rest of it. So 36 six times 7 would be 36, 30. 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And so now they've got it on their t-chart. 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 8. They know this much. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And finally, 6 times 9 would be 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So now they have a t-chart on their paper that they can reference later when they have to multiply uh, a number again. If they get into a situation where they have another problem like this one and they need to multiply, they have this reference there. Okay. The best way to use this resource is to start drawing them on your scratch paper when you get an assignment so that it's there for you to use. The more you draw it, the more you do it, the further and further down the list you'll be able to uh, commit to memory, and before long you won't need to make one for your sixes anymore because you'll, you'll have done a t-chart so many times, you'll start to remember it. So this is a great way to help you learn your multiplication facts. Um, it can also be used for division. 54 divided by six 
is equal to 9, or 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. We could use it for division in that way, just go the opposite direction. And the other great thing that it's for is fractions. If a student, for uh, whatever reason, ever came across the fraction, we'll use this line right here as an example. If they ever came across the fraction 7 over 42, they could simplify it by moving all the way up to the top of the list and see that 7 over 42 simplifies to 1 over 6 or 1 sixth or for whatever fraction you want to do it for. 4 twenty-fourths would also simplify to 1 sixth. Okay? Any one of these would simplify to 1 sixth and the t-chart is just a good way uh, to do that. So if you know that your student, your child is struggling with certain math facts, encourage them to put the t-chart on their paper before they get started so they can constantly go back and reference it every time they need to. When uh, in our district we take uh, CBAs and DBAs and then eventually of course we take star tests here in Texas, students can put a t-chart for all the facts that they don't know, generally they're six, sevens, eights, and nines, they can complete a t-chart for sixes, sevens, eights, and nines in probably less than five minutes and then it's there for the entire test for them to go back and to reference so you know some people say this is you know a trick or a gimmick and what I say is this is the math that we are needing to do in sixth grade and if you are struggling with regular math facts you have to have a strategy to be able to help you do this so I don't consider it a trick I don't consider it a gimmick I consider it a strategy that a student can have in their toolbox to get what they need to solve uh, the type of math that they're going to see in sixth grade. So uh, students, if you're watching this, get into the habit of doing this. Don't be embarrassed that you don't know your multiplication facts. Start doing these t-charts and you will learn them. Parents, um, encourage your children to make t-charts for the ones they don't know and to study them often. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching.